he could leave the race in a matter of days. That's according to two senior House Democrats. It looks like the Biden exit is underway as take a look at the latest headlines coming out in the past 24 hours. Behind the curtain, top Democrats now believe that Biden will exit. And we're hearing that this is going to be coming in the coming days. Biden's family starts discussing his possible exit plan from the 2024 race. We're hearing he's under quarantine right now for COVID. However, anonymous sources saying they're actually planning his exit strategy as we speak. Biden's inner circle shifts moment to moment as defections grow, and the campaign insists, though, that the president is in this race. Biden is absolutely staying in the race, the campaign chair says, but let me know, who do you believe? The anonymous sources saying that behind the scenes, they are planning the exit strategy, or do you believe the Biden administration, that he is in it to win it, and that he will be on the ticket in November? Regardless, we're hearing that Democrats in Congress want him out, they're withholding funding and he's losing support from voters. And take a look at how the super PAC is using those funds that they've withheld from Biden. Take a look at this ad that just came out pushing Biden out. President Biden, you saved democracy in 2020. Now you have a chance to do it again. It's time to pass the torch and let us choose a new nominee. One who can bring new energy, new hope. And make sure Donald Trump never gets near the White House again. Our country's future is in your hands. So please, be the leader we know you are. Pass the torch, Joe. Pass the torch. Pass the torch. Pass the torch. Pass the torch is responsible for the content of this advertising. Now hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you're staying subscribed as YouTube has been unsubscribing people for some reason. And take a look at this headline that came out and we're going to look at the video footage here in just a second. Members of President Joe Biden's family have discussed what an exit from the campaign might look like according to two people familiar with the discussions. The overall tone of the conversations has been that any exit plan should Biden decide to take that step as some of his closest allies increasingly believe that he will should put the party in the best position to beat former president donald trump while also being worthy of the more than five decades that he has served the country in elected office these people said biden's family members have specifically discussed how he would want to end his re-election bid on his own timing and with a carefully calculated plan in place considerations about the impact of the campaign on his health his family and the stability of the country are among those at the forefront of the discussions the people familiar with those discussions said the prospect of biden considering stepping aside much less that his family is gaming out a possible exit plan is an extraordinary development that comes after he has repeatedly said that he would not relinquish his position as the presumptive nominee of the party but concerns have mounted among party leaders donors and even officials who are part of his re-election effort with every day that has passed since a devastating debate three weeks ago. At the same time, Democrats are watching Republicans rally around Trump, who just survived an assassination attempt and accepted his party's nomination Thursday night. Now, White House spokesperson Andrew Bates denied that any such exit discussions are happening among the family. This is not happening, period, he said. The individuals making those claims are not speaking for his family or his team, and they will be proven wrong. Keep the faith, he said. However, as we've heard, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, Hakeem Jeffries, and even former President Barack Obama are asking Biden to consider stepping aside and quitting the race for the presidential elections in 2024. Man, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but let's take a look at the video footage that just came out today as we're hearing that this information is coming out from senior Democratic members of Congress that Biden is planning to step aside and they're saying likely by this weekend, Sunday. Time will tell, and let's go ahead and take a look at the video footage. Well, as President Biden now recovers from COVID, CBS News is learning that he could leave the race in a matter of days. That's according to two senior House Democrats. And last night, Senator John Tester of Montana became the second U.S. Senator to publicly call on Biden to withdraw his bid for the White House, saying in a statement, while I appreciate his commitment to public service and our country, I believe President Biden should not seek re-election to another term. We also know high-profile Democrats are huddling about his prospects, including former President Barack Obama, and former Speaker, House Speaker, rather, Nancy Pelosi, who is also in close touch with leaders, Senator Chuck Schumer and Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. And in another blow to the president, a new CBS News poll taken in the days after the assassination attempt on Donald Trump shows Trump with a growing advantage in a national race. It's his largest national lead 
in the campaign so far. So for more on this, let's bring in CBS News uh, White House reporter Willie James Inman. You are in Rehoboth, Delaware, which is where uh, the president is recuperating from his COVID diagnosis. All right. So is the president, from what we are hearing, perhaps becoming more open to the conversations that he's having with some of his fellow Democrats? We now have 20 congressional Democrats who have publicly said he should step aside. We don't know how many may be talking privately. Hey there, Anne-Marie. Good to be with you this morning. Well, President Biden is reportedly more receptive to these uh, conversations that he's hearing from not only top leadership, uh, like uh, former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, leader Chuck Schumer and others, but all of these Democrats, all of these messages that he's receiving in terms of his standing in the political race. For the most part, publicly, the president continues to say in both in interviews and via campaign statements that he's in it to win it, that he wants to run for president of the United States because he wants to finish the job. That's the campaign slogan that the president often uses. And I'll point out that uh, last night, uh, or early this morning rather, uh, the campaign sent out a memo criticizing former President Donald Trump for things such as overturning Roe v. Wade and not mentioning Project 2025. And that statement also said uh, that President Joe Biden is running because he has a different vision for the country, essentially. So you still have the campaign and the president saying that he's in this race, but behind the scenes reportedly we are hearing as you mentioned uh, that the president could potentially uh, leave the race while he of course is recovering from uh, COVID-19 and just a really quick update there uh, we did receive an update from his physician uh, that said essentially that the president is doing well that he doesn't have a fever he continues to take Paxlovid uh, but of course he is still uh, recovering from COVID. All right, Willie, thank you very much. Well, let's pivot over to Nicole Killian now. Nicole, you are in Washington, and we're going to continue to sort of keep this conversation up about some of the reporting that we're hearing that maybe a decision, we may hear some sort of announcement coming over the weekend or the coming days anyway. If President Biden, though, were to suspend his reelection bid, what do we know or, or do we know if the Democrats have a plan to move forward? I think part of what is most challenging about this conversation is we haven't really heard a clear alternative. And I wouldn't be surprised if the president is also sort of waiting to hear a clear alternative. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, certainly you have to be braced for any and all possibilities. But on the same token, I would say that some sources have told me that, you know, some of this talk may be a bit premature. And if you take the Biden campaign at its word, you know, they have said pretty unequivocally uh, that the president is staying in the race uh, and that they are not looking at any other options right now. Um, and, and that being said, you know, I think that also speaks to what could be the path forward. We certainly have heard in the event, if if the president were to uh, step aside from the 2024 race, that it seems that the vice president, Kamala Harris, would be the heir apparent. And while there is certainly support among a number of congressional members, uh, if that scenario were to occur on the same token, there is not unanimity in terms of uh, whether she is the best one to uh, be positioned in that role. Certainly from a campaign cash standpoint, uh, she would inherit uh, the president's war chest. I mean, it's part of hers as well being uh, on the ticket. But, uh, you know, any other startup candidate would have to start from scratch. And we heard the president in his press conference uh, about a week or so ago say, you know, and express concern about the difficulty of, of starting from a scratch. So uh, from that standpoint, I think that's why some are also trying to tamp down this talk of a potential exit, because at the end of the day, uh, we know that this is the president's decision and his alone. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this Sunday we're going to be hearing an announcement from Joe Biden that he will be stepping down? We've also heard that he will not be supporting Kamala Harris, that he will actually be opening up to anybody. And that is going to be coming up in the Democratic convention here very soon. Now, to get the latest and all the details, as I shared it to you live yesterday, check out this video right here next as I covered it all as we're hearing that Biden is preparing to exit. Now, whatever unfolds, I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel so you know exactly what is going on. But that is the latest, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to stay up to date, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.